to come to the realization that your life that you live was probably a lie, all of it. Even the good times wasn't real. And the future that you thought you would have with this person ain't going to happen, thank God. But who you thought you were and who you thought you would become, that also died. And you've changed into a different person and you will become a different person. You look at people different. You question and question and question what they say. You don't believe everything that is presented to you and it's gonna take longer for you to be convinced that someone is actually genuine. And it's all a part of it. Because even after you left that person, your name will be scandalized. They have painted you as the crazy person. And if you're not careful, you will actually feel mad. You're not the mad person. You're not crazy. You went through what you said you went through. You experienced what you said you experienced. Regardless if anyone tried to belittle it or make it seem like that never happened. <sighs> you have to understand when you are coming out of a toxic relationship, you are coming out as a completely different person. Matter of fact, you might e not even know who you are. And out of this relationship and your identity is absolutely gone. You don't know who you are. Because you have mold, bent, twist, and turned yourself into something else. You have literally morphed into someone else to please in another person. And you come out of it and you look at yourself in the mirror and you have absolutely no clue who you are. And so when you leave this relationship, not only are you grieving, you will grieve the person that you thought you were in love with and the person that you you hoped will come back to the relationship. You're going to grieve that. You're going to mourn the things that you feel like you lost. You're going to regret. There's going to be a lot of regret. You're going to regret how much times you knew you had to leave, but you stayed Hoping things will change. But also, you got to know that you are not walking away the same. You died in that relationship. And whoever is coming out of it is not the same person. And you have two absolute different roads to go. You're going to go on that healing journey. You're going to search and find out who you are. You're going to get in groups and communities and get therapy. And you're going to heal. Or... You're going to go in a deep depressive state. You're going to lose yourself and you're going to stay in that, that, in that dark hole. And I want to ask you, do you want to lose more of your life or do you want to find who you are again? And even though you will never be the same, there is hope that you can find peace in who you will become. And if you change for the better, you're going to stand on business about you. And you're not going to allow anyone, any circumstances, nothing get you to get you back in the state that you were in. You're going to be, even though you're going to see things from afar now, you're going to walk away quicker now. You're not going to deal with the BS anymore. You might not people please anymore. But the fact is you are not the same. You are not the same. And the only advice I can give you is do not stay in that darkness. Yes, grieve. Yes, feel it. Feel it but don't stay there. Don't you dare stay there. Do not let you physically be apart from them but mentally be imprisoned by them. 
And there's a lot of lost here. You got to understand you've lost your identity. You've lost yourself. You've lost your innocence. And you've lost someone that you genuinely cared and loved for. But you got to remember the picture that they painted you is not real. It's a lie. And you have to know that there is a better better out there for you I can tell you that there's better relationships better commitments better experiences if you can just allow yourself to get to that place where your heart can open again there's better the pain gets lighter the darkness goes away and it gets better. Things will get better. Don't do it alone. Don't stay by yourself. Getting some therapy, some group therapy. Surround yourself with people that will love you and care for you and be there for you. But do not do this by yourself.